everyone, big, small, short, tall. Welcome to the Royal Readers Reading Club. How are you doing today? Long time no see. <laughs> today, we're going to be taking a long ride through our community. Have you ever taken a ride on a public bus? Or maybe a maxi? Or maybe an Uber? Or maybe mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, aunt, uncle, cousins? Goldfish may have given you a ride? Hmm, well, on your last journey, can you remember one thing that kind of sticks out in your mind? One thing that you remember that you saw? Maybe it was somebody with neon green hair. Maybe it was a building being demolished. Maybe it was your best friend that you saw walking by and you were able to wave. Hey! Hmm. Today we're going to read Last Stop on Market Street. Words by Max de la Peña. Pictures by Christian Robinson. On Sundays, CJ and his Nana ride the bus across town to their stop on Market Street. But today, CJ's not happy about it. Today, he's wondering out loud why they have to wait in the rain and why they don't have a car like his other friends. But it's Nana who opens young CJ's eyes and shows him the real beauty in the world around them. The spirit of the bustling city, the music in everyday life, and the magic of their often overlooked neighbors. From award-winning talents Matt de la Peña and Christian Robinson comes a brilliant celebration of a love between grandmother and grandson. Hmm. Do any of these items here spark a memory in your mind? A memory in your heart? Hmm. Perhaps one day you saw a really big butterfly and maybe it landed on your nose. Could you imagine that? <laughs> or maybe you have a dog. Or maybe your neighbor has a dog. A loud one. <laughs> As we read today, friends, be sure to take a look at the art that we see in each picture. What do you think the illustrator used to create these pictures? Maybe paint? Maybe construction paper? Maybe crayon? Leave your ideas in the comment section below. CJ pushed through the church doors, skipped down the steps. The outside air smelled like freedom, but it also smelled like rain which freckled CJ's shirt and dripped down his nose. There's CJ. He ducked under his Nana's umbrella saying, how come we gotta wait for the bus in all this wet? Trees get thirsty too, his Nana told him. Don't you see that big one drinking through a straw? CJ looked for a long time, but never saw a straw. From the bus stop, he watched water pool on flower petals, watched rain patter against the windshield of a nearby car. His friend Colby climbed in, gave CJ a wave, and drove off with his dad. Nana, how come we don't got a car? What do you think Nana's response is? Let's continue. Boy, what do we need a car for? We got a bus that breathes fire. And old Mr. Dennis who always has a trick for you. The bus creaked to a stop in front of them. It sighed and sagged and the doors swung open.
What's that I see? Mr. Dennis asked. He pulled a coin from behind CJ's ear, placed it in his palm. Nana laughed her deep laugh and pushed CJ along. They sat right up front. The man across the way was tuning a guitar. An old woman with curlers had butterflies in a jar. Nana gave everyone a great big smile and a good afternoon. She made sure CJ did the same. The bus lurched forward and stopped. Lurched forward and stopped. Nana hummed as she knit. How come we always gotta go here after church, CJ said. Miguel and Colby never have to go nowhere. I feel sorry for those boys, she told him. They'll never get a chance to meet Bobo or the sunglass man. And I hear Trixie got herself a brand new hat. CJ stared out the window, feeling sorry for himself. He watched cars zip by on either side, watched a group of boys hop curves on bikes. A man climbed aboard with a spotted dog. CJ gave up his seat. How come that man can't see? Boy, what do you know about seeing? Nana told him. Some people watch the world with their ears. That's a fact. Their noses, too, the man said, sniffing at the air. That's a mighty fine perfume you're wearing today, ma'am. Nana squeezed the man's hand and laughed her deep laugh. Two older boys got on next. CJ watched as they moved on by and stood in back. Sure wish I had one of those, he said. Nana set down her knitting. What for? You got the real live thing sitting across from you. Why don't you ask that man if he'll play us a song? CJ didn't have to. The guitar player was already plucking strings and beginning to sing. To feel the magic of music, the blind man whispered. I like to close my eyes. Nana closed hers too. So did CJ and the spotted dog. Wow. And in the darkness, the rhythm lifted CJ out of the bus, out of the busy city. He saw sunset colors swirling over crashing waves, saw a family of hawks slicing through the sky saw the old woman's butterflies dancing free in the light of the moon. CJ's chest grew full and he was lost in the sound and the sound gave him the feeling of magic. Friends, have you ever heard a song that just took you away? Let's continue. The song ended and CJ opened his eyes. Everyone on the bus clapped, even the boys in back. Nana glanced at the coin in CJ's palm. CJ dropped it in the man's hat. Last stop on Market Street, Mr. Dennis called. CJ looked around as he stepped off the bus, crumbling sidewalks and broken down doors, graffiti tagged windows and boarded up stores. He reached for his Nana's hand. How come it's always so dirty over here? She smiled and pointed to the sky. Sometimes when you're surrounded by dirt, CJ, you're a better witness for what's beautiful. Friends, where do you think they're going? Can you make a prediction? I predict. Do you think they're going out to eat? Or maybe to visit an old friend? Hmm. Let's find out. CJ saw the perfect rainbow arcing over their soup kitchen. He wondered how his Nana always found beautiful where he never even thought to look. 
He looked all around them again, at the bus rounding the corner out of sight, and the broken street lamps still lit up bright, and the stray cat shadows moving across the wall. When he spotted their familiar faces in the window, he said, I'm glad we came. He thought his Nana might laugh her deep laugh, but she didn't. She patted him on the head and told him, Me too, CJ. Now, come on. The end. Last stop on Market Street. Friends, I hope you enjoyed our story today. There's so much beauty to be found in the world around us. We just need to look a little bit closer and shift our thinking every once in a while. It could be raining outside. It could be snowing outside. Maybe we don't have that game that we really want or that book that we really want, but there's still beauty to be found in every single day. Thank you so much for joining us today. Be sure to like, this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell so you know when we release these videos. That will be all for today. See you later.